Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to tween. I know you haven't seen me tween in these videos, but um, I learned how to tween. This is how I think we should do it. Um, all you're going to need is gutter club and cat cut. So what you're going to do first is you're going to go to the... Um, Hold on. I'm trying to think of it. Um, what's it called? Um, you're going to go to the um, edit button if you are in studio and then go to props. Then what you're going to do when you do that, an ad just popped up. You're going to go to hide. Then you're going to put everything on except for the display hand. So, you're going to put everything visible except for this display hand. So, that's what I'm doing right now. Sorry, you got a little quiet there. Um, so, yeah, that's just me doing... Adding my face. Um, you don't have to add a face. I... Re I'd rather you start with, like, a simple character that doesn't have any hair, and they don't, um, have too many details to them. So, like I said, you're gonna hide that display arm, but you're gonna put everything else on. So, I just took a screenshot, you're gonna save the photos. Um, so, then what you're going to do is you're going to press the edit button again if you're... Oh, I'd rather you put a dark pink background than a green screen because it is way more clear. So, just a little tip. Um, right now we're going dis to display only the display hand and nothing else. And then when we're done, we can go to studio. Um, yeah, we're going to go to studio. Then we're going to go to, um, we're going to put it as big as we can get it. And then we're going to um, screenshot it. So, yeah. Now you're going to go to CapCut. And you're going to uh, select, I accidentally pressed um, stock videos, but you're going to go to photos, and you're going to put the only the body picture without the display hand. Then you're going to go to, um, you're going to go to um, format, no, you're going to go to um, overlay, then you're going to press add overlay, and then click the arm, and add. So, then what you're going to do is you're going to um, go to edit, which is the little square that says edit under it. Then you're going to press crop. So, you're going to get it um, about how close that I'm doing because you don't want it too big, but you don't want it too small. So, like that. Then you're going to press the check mark. Then you're going to um, move the um, arm to where you want it to be. No, not first, you're going to go to chroma key, and you're going to select the pink background that it has. Then you're going to go to intensity. Then I'd rather do about like 37, 22, or 23. Um, I don't know why. I just do it. Then you're going to press the check mark again. And now you can adjust it. So, but first, you're going to adjust it to its original arm. Then, you're going to press the add diamond in the corner. Then you're going to press add diamond. And you're going to... Move it to the position you want it to be in. So, in this video, I wanted to make a waving scene, but I didn't quite make it waving. I just kind of made it do, like, a random thing. 
So, yeah. So, here's just me adjusting and stuff. It was moving on its own, which I didn't really think much about it. Um, so yeah, you're gonna keep pressing the diamond until you're done with your animation and you think you did a pretty good job and then watch over it. Right now you can see me, I'm still making it, so. Um, yeah, um, that's what you're gonna do until you are done animating. You think you're done animating? It took me, it took me a pretty long time to animate this thing and it took me a pretty long time to make, even make this video so um sorry if I uh, I'm super tired um yeah so that's what I'm doing here um when you think you're done with the animation just watch over it um